study vlog. I'm still on my mid-semester break. I've been working on my mid-semester assignments and I've got two in particular that I've been working on. The plan for today is to finish a first draft of one of them. I've got a video call with someone at noon. I'm going to make some sourdough. So I hope that you'll enjoy coming along with me for a productive day. I'll talk a bit more about this video call that I've got at noon. There's this Facebook group that I'm part of. So I posted the other day and asking for tips on how to go about doing assignments. That would be really helpful. A lot of people have replied with really helpful comments. One of them in particular has been so lovely. She said that she'd be more than happy to video call me brainstorm and talk through how to plan certain things. And on to sourdough. So I fed my sourdough starter last night. So it's now nice and bubbly. I want to make this a jalapeno and cheddar loaf. I made a roasted garlic and rosemary one last weekend and it was so yummy. And I'll check in with you throughout the day. some books of Kurong, which is a Christian bookstore. Yay! I'll show you a little haul. It's how to read the Bible for all it's worth. We've heard really great things about this book. I think that's the only book that we bought for ourselves. This, A Praying Life. I love this book. It's such a helpful, practical, an easy read. I bought this for someone in our Bible study who's gonna get baptized next month. Next is Risen Motherhood. It's so beautiful. Let me show you. Oh wow. I want to read this. Our church's mom's group is going through this book at the moment, which is why my sister wanted it. And then I made this order for hasn't come. I was freaked out seeing that it wasn't in this box because I thought that I might have forgotten to order it and I did order it. But anyway, I'll continue the haul now. So I have a friend who is new to our Bible study group and she's got teenage children and so I've bought her praying through the Bible for your kids because she did mention that she wanted to uh, me praying for her children. Oh, and the last three are for my nephew's birthday. He's 
just turned two and this Sunday will be his birthday party. It's three kids books. I quickly flipped through. So it's the boy who shared his sandwich, the dad who never gave up, and the house that went splat. The person who listens to Jesus and does what he says is like a clever man who built his house on big strong rocks. The rain came, splash, pour. The flood came, whoosh. The wind blew hard but the house stood. Still. Phew. The great big rocks made it strong. The dad who never gave up. I'm guessing this is the two lost sons story. Yeah. <laughs> the illustrations are so nice too. <laughs> All the bread and the fish. So cute. I love children's books. And I also like how at the back there's notes for grown-ups. The parents can read through it. There's the actual Bible passage where it's from and little notes. So that's really nice. That's my little book haul. Hopefully my missing book will come shortly. It's now time for my sourdough stretch and folds. I've found that I, I think I've been spending way too much time looking for articles and reading for essays and I'm just wondering at what point, yeah, at what point do you stop? <laughs> eating lunch and then realized that I was running late. <laughs> I had my the video call with the lady at 12.30. It was so helpful. I'm just so grateful. She took time out of her busy schedule to chat with me about my assignment. In the lead up to this, she had even asked what my assignment question was. Last night, she read through the entire book of Hebrews just in preparation for this video call. The main thing that stood out to me was that she said, it can be easy when you're starting out an assignment to go straight to looking for articles and books to read, but she would not recommend that. Come up with my own argument, and then once I'm clear with what my argument is, then to read up on some resources. It's really important throughout my essay for my voice to be strong. That was super helpful.
Let's take a sneak peek at the sourdough. Oh my gosh, it's so bubbly and beautiful. Wow, look at those bubbles.